Hello y'all, it's Axius DS with DaVinshield Entertainment, bringing y'all another animations and skill effects video, today being for Saya Violet Fairy. So probably multiple of you or many of you have already seen this skin for those folks that decide that they just want to go ahead and have it immediately and they will pay for it rather than getting it for free. Um, however, I'm going to go ahead and do the video because there are still two more days for check-in. Um, in case you've missed a couple days or a week or something like that and you're like doggone i'm not going to be able to get it it's going to give you the uh, knowledge as to do you like the way the skin looks enough um, in order to you know pay for the days missed because it's definitely cheaper to pay for a week of missed check-ins than it is to go ahead and just completely buy the skin um, without any check-ins so anyways give me a moment and i will hop back in at about level four and uh, we'll see how it goes. Hello, y'all. I am back. And oh my goodness, I did not realize that what the demo mode did. And that's really freaking amazing. So <clears throat> just for those people that don't know, if you go to play a game and then you go to training camp on the bottom, one of the options that you would not have already done is demo. And the demo lets you go ahead and do some pretty awesome things because you can open up the console and you can make your character invincible, you can make the enemy invincible, you can go ahead and level yourself, level the enemy, you can turn off the AI, turn on the AI, you can give the enemy gold, you can give yourself gold, you can give yourself and the enemy, there's a car buff, I mean, simul you know, t simultaneously for giggles if you want, you can turn on troops, turn off troops, Place dummies, remove dummies, reset your jungle creatures. You can reset your levels. I mean, yeah, that's pretty darn awesome. So if you just want to mess around with skills or something, that's a freaking awesome way to do it. So um, I don't know why they didn't like when they added that. They didn't do a big video about or like a big like flyer like, hey, Mess around, learn skills outside of game with this thing as like a big to-do. But anyways, let's get on to the actual skills. So, for her base skill, we're going to go ahead and just drop it because I've got CDs off. Meteor. Drop another Meteor. It looks pretty cool. You can like just, no CD, I can just lag the heck out of this if I wanted to. I need, I need Rockman to come back though. Well, I guess not, I've got no cooldown. So, there's her little piece she throws. Though normally you can't have two of them at the same time because, yeah, just, it doesn't let you do that normally in game. There we go. There's a single one. That looks pretty cool. I have to say, I really like the way that the I like how it, its color changes. That's that's pretty neat looking. The meteor is okay. I mean, it's like big blast down, and it's got you know kind of a neat looking effect on there. Um. The piece that she throws and then puts down the AoE damage, that looks way freaking cooler. Like that glowiness. Now let's ulti her. Oh, look at glowy beam of death. It's not really, I don't know. That's not as exciting. Personally, I think that one right there when it hits, that's way more exciting looking. So there's that. But let me quick actually put into low camera height because I didn't do that from the get-go because I thought it was like, I was just so amazed at what you could do with this mode. So if we look here at Violet Fairy Saya up close, um, long purple hair in like a ponytail that's kind of like a top ponytail though. So it comes up and then it comes back in the bottom back. Um, red dress black base, red sleeves, gold trim on the sleeves, red trim on the bottom, red front with gold detailing on the front. It looks like there is like a red flower, a rose or something, um, on her left bust. Um, red black shoes match the outfit nicely, little high heels. Um, pretty cool looking outfit. 
And she's got her staff with the big glowy, like, red gem meteor. Or maybe it's, like, shaped like a flower. Can't fully tell. It's got, like, a little tassel hanging from the bottom of it in gold detailing. Oh, auto attacks. Let's see the auto attack animation there. Once it gets back here. Come on. Okay. So she throws like, I guess it is like the flower. It's like violet or whatever. Because it's a non-glowy version of her regular ability. Okay, now let's see her running. So when she's running, she's got her staff in hand. And then she kind of like yawns, I guess. She yawning, or she's waving, she's like fanning herself, like, oh, it's so hot, I'm fanning myself. I think that's what she's doing in there. Okay, so something a little bit different. Um, throw that out there again, just for giggles. And if she stands still, she converted her whole doggone wand into a hairpin. I like it. Big wand with flower end, poof. <laughs> it's a detail. And then she goes ahead and starts dancing about like she's all excited because she's got a great new hairpiece. Okay, so I like that. So now let's go ahead and teleport back quick. Teleport. Okay, it's an umbrella now. And now it's back to an um. Where the heck did I? I did not teleport where I wanted to. All right, let's see that again. Umbrella. Sit on it. Ride it. What the freak? <laughs> okay, that wasn't supposed to happen. I don't know. Teleport back to base. I, I don't think the teleport back to the well works. No, okay, for whatever reason in this mode here, when I try teleporting back to the well, it just teleports me right to the closest tower. Which that one I went, I meant to click on there. Let's try going to the bottom. Will the bottom one work? Okay, no idea why it wouldn't let me go, unless it wasn't counting me clicking on the map. That's possible. There we go, because now I'm clicking back. No, it, it warped me to where there wasn't even a tower. That is not supposed to happen. That's a weird bug. So anyways, um, if you like the Violet uh, Fairy Saya skin, but you miss some days, it may be worthwhile for you to go ahead and pay the little bit of a difference to go ahead and make up those few days so that way you can get the skin unless you just don't like it in which case i guess maybe not but i think it's a pretty cool skin you know paying for a few days um that's you know miss check-ins I, I think it's probably worth it so you'll have a good one um stay tuned for tomorrow i'm hoping tomorrow will be the new character release and skin for it though technically we should also be having a drawing because it's about that time of the month for Pandora's box, but it's almost looking like they're not going to be doing the Pandora's box when they normally would. So I guess we'll find out tomorrow. So anyways, y'all have a wonderful day. Happy gaming. Bye.